What's going on guys, I'm with Moose and today I'm back on OLB17, the show Diamond Dynasty, going to be completing a program actually today, pretty cool, you guys can already guess, I'm sure from the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be finishing up the Chris Archer program, now if we go into missions, Diamond Dynasty, and scroll over to, all over all the way over to the Archer program, and you guys can see the final one that I had was Archer Shutout on July 27th, 2013, I guess he threw a complete game shutout, and that's exactly what you had to do in a rank seasons game, now I wasn't sure if I was going to go for this, um, but I was already like, I was only like a challenge or two away, so I decided to roll with it and see what I could do, and we got it done. Um, I actually pitched seven scoreless innings, and the guy ended up quitting, and it still gave me the challenge, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update on that, that uh, you actually do get the challenge done, even if they quit out. I'm not sure if you'll get it if you only pitch, like, let's say, three innings, but like I said, I pitched seven innings, complete game, or, you know, I should say seven innings shutout, and it was a complete game because he quit, so... I'm guessing if you pitch at least five innings, you'll get it. And maybe even if you only pitch two and the guy quits, as long as you didn't go a run, you might get that one. But let's go through all these um, and see what you need to do for them. Actually, first up, let's go redeem the mission and get that Chris Archer on our team. Now, I know a lot of people weren't too excited about this card because it's only like an 81 overall. You guys can see on the way you get certain rewards, like some program packs, which are really not that great, to be honest. Uh, Brandon Geyer you get as well, which unlocks a player epic mission. I'll show you guys that in a sec. But we get another program pack right here for I believe 85% is what this one was. And then of course at 100%, which is what we are at, we get the 81 overall rookie edition Chris Archer, which is pretty cool, but in general, really not that like useful of a card or anything like that. It does say feed me right there, uh, which is a glitch. I think they're gonna fix that. So don't worry about that if you have completed it or if you are gonna complete it soon. Um, and it says that, don't worry, you, you have the Chris Archer or you should in your um, inventory. So. So first up, let's take a look at the card right here. 81 overall rookie, of course, 2013 flashback for Chris Archer. Pretty cool card. Uh, 81 stamina, 89, or 80, so I should say, hit per nine. 62 strikeout per nine, 68 walk per nine. This is, you know, tough to read all these off. 88 velocity, though, really solid. I wonder how that compares to his regular card, actually. 88 velocity on that. I still have his base card, which has 88 velocity as well. This card, of course, a lot better because it is a gold and he's a little more experienced now. But this card, not too shabby either, especially for a rookie uh, flashback card. Slider, four seam, two seam, and change up. That's not too bad. I like those pitches a lot. Should be a good item and uh, should be a fun one. Let's take a look real quick at first the Brandon Geyer mission. And maybe that Chris Archer unlocks a player epic, but I'm not entirely sure. Looks like not quite. Actually, it's a player spotlight for Geyer. So actually, the uh, Archer does. So that's pretty cool. But Brandon Geyer breakout. Um, this card, basically, if you get, um, it's kind of hard in my opinion, one hit, two RBIs, and a walk in one game with him. It's really difficult. And there's already a challenge like that for the 81 Ken Griffey. So I really wouldn't worry too much about this. All you get is some stubs, XP, and some tickets, which, I mean, it's cool, but like, I wouldn't worry about it, honestly. Now this one, I'm very excited about this. Did not even know he had one. Um, tally 50 strikeouts with rookie flashback Chris Archer in DD games, and you get a baseball is flashback pack, which is pretty good. I mean, those packs weren't the greatest or anything like that, but you are guaranteed a flashback card, I believe, and you know, decent chances to get like um, Roberto Alomar, I believe, and there was one other guy, which I can't remember, but pretty cool, and uh, I'll definitely be going for that. So not too bad, but let's go through all these and see exactly how you get this card on your team and more importantly how you unlock it for the dynasty program which is potentially the most important thing you actually get a few rewards there a thousand xp 50 stubs five tickets but what it does more importantly is gives you percentage on this program and if you guys forgot what this program is all about let's take a look real quick go back to programs and the dynasty it's going to take forever to get this done i'm now at 12 percent you guys can see in the bottom right of the screen uh lou brock at 15 very excited to get that on the squad after that, you get Vita Blue, uh, Cal Ripken. There's a bunch of great rewards. At the end is actually a 99 Ted Williams as well, which is really, really cool. And definitely want to do that, but it's just the, the program takes forever. Like, don't expect to get it done uh, very quickly at all. But let's get into the Archer program. I've promised this a few times now, but let's get into it. First up, defeat Tampa Bay twice on rookie difficulty or higher in play versus CPU games. Very easy to do. I mean, you know, there's no reason not to do it pretty much right away. Next one up is tally nine wins in play versus CPU games with a rookie flashback or rookie legend starting pitchers. That's pretty easy as well. A lot of those guys you can get for the collect 15 rewards for certain teams. Um, I know there's like a CC Sabathia for the Indians. Um, trying to remember some other ones. Uh, Johnny Cueto's the Reds and stuff like that. If you get a few guys like that, throw them all in your uh, starting rotation and you'll eventually get those nine wins pretty darn easy. 
Next one is throw a complete game shutout in a, a ranked online game, which is the one I most recently got, which like I said, is not too tough. If you have a pretty solid team, you can pretty much take on anybody and beat them um, and just get the complete game shutout. Just don't throw or don't give up a run. Uh, alternatively, you could actually throw a one hitter, I believe is, is another option, but that's going to be a little bit harder than not giving up a run. Next up, capture Tampa Bay territory on the conquest map. We'll get back to this one in just a sec. Next one up after that, tally seven pitcher strikeouts in one ranked seasons game with a rookie series starting pitcher. So same kind of deal as the one above where you need nine rookie wins in play versus CPU games. This one you need seven strikeouts with one rookie series starting pitcher. Not that hard either. Just load up your your, your starting rotation with a bunch of rookies and um, or not real rookies, but like uh, rookie flashbacks, stuff like that. And you'll pretty easily get it. It's not that hard to strike out people online. People are very willing to uh, swing at bad pitches. So just get a, get an opponent that's uh, you know swinging at a lot of stuff, not too tough. Next one up is tally a win in, in a complete game with any starting pitcher in a play versus CPU game. You can get this done during your nine rookie wins that you're doing above or when you're trying to beat the Rays. Very easy, literally just throw a complete game. <laughs> Who cares if the guy runs out of energy? Just keep throwing with him and you'll eventually get it. And then finally, exchange three Tampa Bay Rays players for Tropicana Field. Very easy as well. You can get players for like 10 stubs a piece. Exchange it, you get Trop or, or the Trop or whatever they call it and uh, also get this challenge done. But what was I going to talk about with this capture a Tampa Bay territory on the Conquest map? Let's go over to Conquest and see exactly how I think you should be able to do this. And it's actually pretty easy now. I want to make sure you guys know you have to literally capture the a Rays territory. It can't be a territory that used to be the Rays. It can't be the ter the stronghold that used to be the Rays. It has to be a Rays territory that you capture, um, you know, when you capture it. So they have to be holding it. You have to take it from them, uh, like literally. So the easiest way to do it, honestly, is whenever you restart Conquest, just make a beeline down there. So you guys can see it this, at the beginning. I just started going crazy down there. It takes a few turns, maybe like four or five turns to get down there. And eventually you'll get down there and I beat the raise. You guys can see, and I'm probably going to wipe my board now because this is a terrible board. It's a terrible way to play conquest. I wouldn't recommend you do it. Um, you know, in your normal conquest mode, but if you're just trying to get that challenge done, it's actually pretty easy. Just make a beeline. Like I said, maybe four or five turns, you easily get that done and that'll get you that challenge done and get you a Chris Archer on your team. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know down in the comments down below. If you're excited about Chris Archer, if you think he's gonna be a good card or, uh, if you think it's kind of a waste of time, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.